Hi guys, welcome to my i3. There was a user just now who asked me a question, can we change the numbers in i3 to names? And I said, yes, sure, go ahead. It's a self-study group. We are eh, not consultants, but we give you a university. That's all online. Go to articlinksd.com slash i3. But we have 28 desktops and many of desktops. We have already examples in it, but we did not have an example in this one in i3. So as you see, you have here the word terminal behind it. Super F2, uh, Super 2 I mean, is a browser. Super 3 is mail. Super 4 is file manager. So I just made these examples, right? And then it's five, six, seven again. So the point is you can. And we've added an example. So if you update today, you see that there is a new configuration coming in. It's coming inside Scale, and you know what that is. In Scale is what we, where we keep your backups essentially, but it's used. If you install a clean install, that what's in ETC Scale comes in your home directory, basically. So I've done already my Scale, that's in. I don't have to do it again, otherwise my code is gone, right? It gets overwritten, but it gets also backup. This is the ATT backup. So I started with this one. New, 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 <clears throat> you can build an Arclinx XL 0702 right now, arclinxb.com, run some scripts, you've got it. And then I launched ATT, Control alt e you know the drill, and then you select your desktop and you have the desktop you want, together with XFCE, which is not a bad idea. Having a backup, if you fail your configuration, any of these guys, right, you can still go to XFCE. So without further ado, what did I change to the config? Actually, I got an idea. This one and that one at this point in time are different. If I compare, I can teach so splendidly what changed. So we have here an example, define names for default workspaces and so on, you read. And this is a variable. Could be Eric, right? But it doesn't make sense workspace ws1 is this terminal that's what you see down here and if we go to workspace 2 you'll see browser and we can open a browser here and that's opening now and uh, super 3 we have mail i don't have anything mail and super 4 is the file manager so here comes sunar so now we have all these things open all right, how do we achieve this? So here we just deleted some hashtags in front of it. Okay, delete some hashtags. We added some names. And in my case, just to give an example, number one are for me the browsers. Number two is the editors. Number three is Inkscape. Number four is um, GIMP. Number five is Melt and All, Nomax and, and, and Images things. Number six is starting to forget it, VLC, so, uh, seven is virtual box, eight is file manager, nine is um, mail, and 10 is Spotify or music or something like that. I used to work like that for years, right? All applications pointing to a certain workspace, expecting it to arrive there. Then somebody said to me, why are you doing this? You're restricting yourself. And I stopped doing it and I thought, this is way better. So I'm not telling anymore where an application should go, should end up in, right? It's I keep it free. I can move anything to anywhere. But it's a choice. So if you want to, you do, can. So you can say, okay, the terminal goes there. So mod one, super, super one or Windows one, right? Workspace. And then we get this variable. It points to the terminal. So and you have to change any references and use the variables instead. Now, if you would think, oh yeah, I'll do a super shift R, in many of the tiling managers, that means reload, forget about it, log out, log in, and then it will work. So you see here, me change a few lines of code. These few guys have been changed and I stopped doing it uh, after here, but you should change all the references to the ones and the six and the seven and change it to whatever you like, or just keep half of it. Um, 
it's up to you. But this is how it's done. You can see what I've changed and that's it. So I, this was just a dirty fix or so delete, boom, done. Because we have it up here. All right, that's it. No more changes down here, except the ones for Polybar and that's it. So now you know it's possible indeed in i3 to change the names and maybe you should include since the browser is open anyway. How do you learn? Well, Article XD, right? We agree that you first go here and there is so much time spent in designing, writing, making videos about all of these desktops. And there are 22 articles already about i3. So start with uh, installing i3 and then read your way up two, three, four, till you figure out how i3 works. And if you still have a question, then, then you can ask, all right? More articles here as well. And uh, on the YouTube channel, i3 is a desktop that I've had over 10 years, for sure. On Ubuntu, on Solus, on Antergos, on Linux Mint, right? It works anywhere. It really is the suitcase that you take with you on any Linux distribution. And bam, it works with your configuration anywhere. I wanted to say something else and I forgot. It was also important. So if you want to find help, that was the reasoning. Then i3.org or something. Let's see, i3.org. Then you go here. That's the Bible. Ah, yeah, now I remember again. That's one you should read. There's the docs. And that's how I started myself. Other stuff, multi-monitor and stuff like that. And the tip I just gave to the user online here on the Discord channel, right? I said, what I did years back is type in i3 config and then decide to look on GitHub. Later on, I can decide to look on GitLab, right? And find out what do other people write? Well, Hermano Ferrari wrote, and then you go and have a look. What did he write? What is his i3, his vision of an i3 desktop? You go read and you learn, and say, oh, oh, that's how they change the sound, default sync, what's all that? And you learn by reading code. And in the beginning, trust me, you're gonna say, what's this? This is way too difficult. It was a hate and love relation for me for years, i3, because I started in a black screen, the default Arch Linux i3, boom, that's it. And then you say, what's this? No, but nothing, that's, this, this is not helpful, right? You need to have a config. Uh, well, so well on um, the three tips um, I would suggest three sources and of course there's YouTube and start typing in and find out how everything fits together. All right, enjoy.